Hey, Lactris here, and welcome back to Game of Thrones. Ah. Asher. Legend. Oh, here we go. Go. Go now, go. There's a gap. Go. Go, go, go. Go. Don't start. That's it. Move. Move, 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 move. Hey! Yeah, that's it. Walk the other way. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us, then? Where else you gotta go? If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? He can lead I can them. lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without cell swords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft with the second sons. Yeah, you want the second They're sons? They're the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. No, let's go see He'll Daenerys at Targaryen. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll figure something out. Not exactly a plan, though, is it? Don't worry. He'll get it done. Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. Why, what, what? shit? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. What business? What kind of unfinished business? The kind I'd rather keep to myself. Go hide. Ponte Renas. Yonkai Hanoncho si bota con costoti da or. They will leave. Of course. Let's go. You're quick, I'll give you that, but you're reckless. If I have to, I will murder my way to Ramsey Snow and cave his bloody head in. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Well, then find some I hope some you're horses. ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Well then, get an army. Stop talking about it and go do it. Do we get to see them now? No. Uh oh. Go investigate. Quietly sneak up. Go see what's going on. Go on. Go, go. Gently. You know what? Fuck it, just bust in.
Mera? There's a note for you, Mera. Alright, look at everything. Make sure nothing's been taken. Everything's still here. Okay, so everything's still uh, there. Look at your desk. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Your book? Was someone going through my books? Huh. Right, um, there's a scruff mark. Broken vase? Or vase, however you say it. Why would someone do this? Making it look a bit like a struggle. What's the note say? I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't go. There. <clears throat> That should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may she not have found a way it. to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord. You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is... If the two of you wanted to produce an heir... That was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Don't be rude, Maester. Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. Now go win your girl. Lord, she's here. Go on, man. Go win her. Roderick? Oh, look at that. You look. Elena. It's just me. Yes, of course. It's good to see you again, Roderick. Why did she leave her Wait. unsure? So, here we are. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove and... <laughs> so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick... I am... Um... I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. 
The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Tell Those us the soldiers truth. are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron No. He just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. Oh dear, here we go. But in light of all that's happened to your family... I... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly... I'm torn. You're torn? I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. You and I can overcome anything. I once thought so too. Oh, he's gonna get dumped. But I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can so I ask does. my father to risk everything? Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, it... the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Mind your own business, Whitetail. My son's affairs are not your concern. Then why not tell him why you invited me here? I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral, but I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, Ooh. she practically begged me to come. Of course, Shut I'd up, want man. the same in her position. The youngest son home to mourn his dead father and brother. Brian belongs at that funeral with his family. Not until I'm certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Heronhall. But now I hear you're ordering them around and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? Sure. Here's the idea. Okay. We're gonna make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel. And kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing. And we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. Get on your knees. He'll do it, just because he wants to see his brother. What's my cat doing? What are you doing? Hey? Get off there. Very good. Now then, since you're a loyal <sighs> subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsey do that. Ramsey Snow said... I know what Ramsey said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest ironwood 
from wherever the fuck I please. No. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey that me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Yeah, she's gonna oh, leave him. By the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. <laughs> Isn't that clever? I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I did it for Ryan. Maybe I'd have done the same. My lord, are you well? I don't think he is very well. This fight isn't over. Not even close. Okay, what's next? Some more of this. Going up on top of the wall. Very slow. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. You're Just right. Agree. I'm sorry. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. <laughs> trouble. It won't stop bothering me. You were a squire. He thinks you have potential. He said... You fought for the North with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? We fought as best we could, but it wasn't enough. The phrase cut us open. Those they cowards. backstabbed them. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the nice watch. Well, don't fall off the edge now. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you Craven. Some won't even have a reason. And they'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Exactly. Oh. Now don't fall off. Go join him. 
Don't fall off now. I felt the same first time I saw it. Pretty crazy. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. And it's gonna be hell. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. The next day is colder than the day before. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. But you only just got up there. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching.